Okay, so I wanted to cover how to trace objects, um, pictures and things like that, that are a little too complicated for the AccuScan option or the image import options for TorchMate CAD. So if I go and import a file, for instance, I went and picked one called Antelope, and I could try to convert this, but I don't want to. Uh, the whole point of this is to show you how I would go about tracing this. And what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll blow up the image, um, even if it's grainy, I'll blow it up as, as large as I can so that when I go to zoom in I can get some accuracy. What I'll do is I'll come over here to the Graphics Edit Tools and I will select the Arc Edit. Um, Node Edit and Free Edit I rarely do. Arc Edit is the one I want. Arc Edit is going to allow me to create a continuous line. Um, so will some of the other options. but. The reason why I want this, now if I, watch this, if I come and click on the, my starting point, my line is complete at that point. And then what I can do is I can double click on this and I can manipulate these lines with my arc, with arcs by dragging them. And what I'm going to do is show you why I choose this tool. Um, so I'll come in here, choose my arc edit, and what I'm going to do is trace this out. Now, one thing you have on the convex and... Um, concave curves and everything what you'll want to do is click on either side of that on any curve so straight lines no big deal so I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing so just for the sake of the the back I'm gonna go ahead and just say apply to that now what I did is I just created this and you can do this in multiple sections if you want typically I won't but I just want to show you this so I'm gonna double click on this this straight line area I'm just going to leave straight but up here I'm going to grab this line and curve it and that's why I said on the on the concave and convex areas you want to click on either side of it so that you can curve the lines appropriately if you if you found that you maybe need another line here double click move the node around you can bring this up bring this down now when I apply that you can see that the curve is following this uh, antelope a little bit more closely so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just continue this and probably speed the video up for you so you don't have to sit here and watch me click on this whole thing but what I'm going to do is basically just give myself a rough outline and and you'll get used to this so I'm, I'm just clicking on points it's you don't have to be real accurate because you can always add nodes and remove nodes later. So let me just go ahead and do this. I'll speed up the video so you don't have to uh, watch the whole thing. Okay, so now I collect these these lines together. There's actually two objects here. Um, what I need to do is go in and refine this now. You can see the general outline that I've got. I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to go in here and mess with the curves just like I did before and try to get it accurate. I mean, some of this isn't going to matter. because uh, people aren't going to be able to have the original picture to compare it to and they can extrapolate and figure out what it is. Delete nodes if you have to. Come in here, tweak this. I want to uh, make this not so sharp of a point so we'll add another node and round this a little bit. Round these ears. Sometimes I think I put too many nodes in so we'll take a little bit out. And what you're going to do is go around and continue to just tweak everything. Now if you want to look at this, you can see how much better that looks already. Um, I'm a little off right here. Let's add another node. Let's bring this right here. Curve this line up. Curve this line a little bit more down. That's a little better. Um, now we're going to continue, continue around and continue to curve this. 
try to make the lines as smooth as possible between where they transition so this line and this line you don't want like a you know this line going that way and that line going that way typically because that'll look funny you, you want to make them run into each other nice curved areas come in here add another node let's blunt the point of this prong a little bit and come down here and basically I'm gonna go ahead and uh, speed up the video again so you don't have to sit here and watch me do this the whole time uh, at the regular speed so Okay, so this is pretty close. Um, it's not perfect, but again, um, you just need to get it close. The hoofs down here, you probably want to put, you know, in some grass or something like that. But this is a the general outline. Let me control Z that. I'm going to use this picture still. This is the general outline. Um, let me combine these two pieces with the regular weld, well, basic weld right here. And now I've got one piece, and you can see that this is pretty accurate now. If you're just going for the silhouette, you're, you know, you're done at this point. However, if you don't want to, if you want to add a little bit more detail, like some of these lines, these coloration lines and everything, then uh, what you're going to need to do is come in here and cut some reliefs and things like that. And I'm not going to actually do that because I'm not very good at that. It takes me a long time, and um, I just wanted to show generally how I go about tracing things. So again, um, Let's just do one more image, but this one's going to be a very simple black and white image. So let's go File, Import. I'm just going to take uh, this image that I had from a previous tutorial, import it. It's really small, but we'll go ahead and blow it up a little bit. And what I can do, if I wanted to make this a different color, I can highlight this and maybe let's go make it pink. If I right click and left click, uh, well that didn't work, but we'll use pink for our, our tracing color. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll grab, you can come in here and use these other tools if you want. I still like doing the arc edit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this point, hold down control because that will give me a horizontal line. And then I'll let go of my control, come down here, hold down control, get my vertical line. Hold down, keep holding control, get my horizontal, come around this curve. And any vertical or horizontal line, I'll hold down control so I, it's accurate. Otherwise, you don't need to um, worry about holding down the control button. And I'm not going to do the whole image, I'm just going to trace the this um, for the sake of um, trying to just show you how I would go about this assuming I didn't have any software to import this okay so now apply that so you can see how much of that I've actually outlined now if I were to come in here and double click on this I could take all of these points again and drag them out The, there's only one section on this I'm really worried about and it's that lens on the bottom um, I don't know if I have enough points on there to get the correct curvature on that we're about to find out actually that worked out well um, but if I didn't I could always double click and add another point in here and and tweak the curves if I need to so I mean it's not a hundred percent accurate unless you want to spend a lot of time doing it um, but it gets me really close. I'm going to delete this, and this is the outline of that camera. Obviously, you'd go through and uh, give a little more detail, but that's 
tracing is really not that bad. Um, you just have to get used to thinking in straight lines and curves, and your curves are coming in later. So you just come in and, and you just, that's really hard to see. You're just coming in and um, creating the line first, and then you're coming back in later and just pulling your curves the way you need them. And let's go like this, Alt S. So again, let's do that one more time. Let's go up on the more complex area. So we're just going to, you can even go and just do a rough trace if you wanted to. Come in here and get some of the basic points. Real basic. Let's just say we're doing the uh, prongs there. So what you can come in now and do is double click on this. I like when you double click on it, the field disappears. You can come and try to curve this line. You say, oh, well, I need a point right here. So now I can curve this line here. Uh, to add that point, I just double clicked. And now you start to curve this in. You find, well, I'm a little too sharp of a point. So let's double click right here. You can round that, blunt this point a little bit. This curve is a little odd, so we'll move it back in. Um, double click on that. We're going to blunt the, this point on the prong. Curve this down. So you, what you can do is you just continue to add and remove points as necessary. Double click here. Let's bring this up. Oh, I've got the line. And, and it's pretty forgiving. I mean, if you mess up, you can just go and delete points and add points. Do whatever you need to do. So what you'll do is you'll get used to knowing where you need points, where you don't need points. Um, it does take practice. I, I have been drawing this way with vectors for some time. Um, even before I had Torchmate CAD, I did it with uh, Adobe Flash because I got used to tracing objects in there, and this is the way I had to do it. Um, so if it doesn't seem like it's very familiar at this point, like you're having a hard time, don't get you don't worry about it. Just go practice with a few pictures, and it, it'll come pretty fast. So I just want to finish this up to kind of show you. That it's really not that bad and this is one of the more complicated parts of the picture so it takes longer um, but you can go ahead and do this yeah I mean you can see how decently that comes out I go pull it over to the one I have previous and I spent a little more time on the one previous but so there's some things I like about this one more than that one so anyway that's how I go about tracing objects uh, pictures whatever um, especially if I don't have a way to import things like that in and I hope you found it useful.